This unit sets the scene for all of the forthcoming units of the module. We begin by examining the approach to storing and processing data that was used before the arrival of database systems and that is still appropriate today in certain situations which will be explained. We then go on to examine the difference between this traditional file-based approach to data storage and that of the database approach. We do this first by examining inherent limitations of the file-based approach and then discuss ways in which the database approach can be used to overcome these limitations. A particular model of database systems known as the relational model has been the dominant approach in the database industry since the early 80s. There are now important rivals and extensions to the relational model, which will be examined in later units. But the relational model remains the core technology on which the database industry worldwide is based. And for this reason, this model will be central to the entire module. Many people need to store data of various kinds for a variety of reasons. An individual might like to keep a record of a collection of music CDs or videos. A charity might want to keep a record of its members and keep track of donations and expenditure. A company will need to hold details of its staff, customers, products, supplies, and financial transactions. If there are a small number of records to be kept and these do not need to be changed very often, a card index might be all that is required, example, for a CD collection. However, where there is a high volume of data and a need to manipulate this data on a regular basis, a computer-based solution will often be chosen. This might sound like a simple solution, but there are a number of different approaches that could be taken. If a company decides to use computer-based files that each application program can access as and when required, this would work, but leaves the organization vulnerable to problems of inconsistencies when changes in the data occur. The term file-based approach refers to the situation where data is stored in one or more separate computer files. Typically, for example, the details of customers may be stored in one file, orders in another, etc. Computer programs to perform the various tasks required by the business process data that is stored in computer files. Each program, or sometimes a related set of programs, are called computer applications. For example, all of the programs associated with processing customers' orders are referred to as the order processing application. The file-based approach might have application programs that deal with purchase orders, invoices, sales, and marketing, suppliers, customers, employees, and so on. We can imagine that some of these different programs might use